Ecclesiastes 4, 9, and 10. 47 are excited to two. Bill Bishop. 47 beavers on the big blue sea. But Bill Bishop. Deep in the Northwest Territory, where the woods look down on the Western Sea, and the trappers trap so merrily, where the streams are oh so beavery. One day in 1842, a trapper by the name of Stu came down to the beach and said, Hello, I need a boat or a big canoe. I need a lift on down the coast to the nearest beaver trading post where I'll shake my hand and raise a toast to Trapper Stu, who trapped the most. So he piled what he caught in a rather small boat and asked the ex-sailor to give him a coat. Now why, said the sailor with fear in his throat, that you should only leave what you were afraid of a float. <laughs> and as they debated, man to man, the beavers developed a curious plan. And the beavers pulled up on the oars, and the beavers rowed away from shore. And the beavers two, and the beavers three, 47 beavers on the big blue sea. No one thought that beavers were capable of scheming. If you'd say they'll roll away from those folks and say you're dreaming. But here they were, and there they went, across the briny blue, calling out a cadence like a real Olympic crew. For a week or two, the beaver crew rode the Great Pacific, till from the north a storm blew and winds that were terrific. And one by one, the oars were called and vanished. Mercy me! And 47 beavers were left bobbing in the sea. Well, the beavers bobbed up on the sea, and the beavers saw the misery, and the beavers two, and the beavers three, 47 beavers on the big blue sea. This is bad, they cried. We feel like Noah and his ark. Then their bed got worse, because they were staring at a shark. Alas, alack, we're doomed, they wailed. The shark showed his incisors. Adrift at sea, and now we'll be a fishy's appetizers. Then one small beaver stood and faced the others from the bow. He said, our time will come someday, but it ain't coming now. <laughs> We all work together, and there's a lot that we can do. So let's show that big bully that we've got incisors, too. <laughs> Ninety-four big beaver teeth flash out from a boat. Wild well, shark was so surprised his heart jumped in his throat. <laughs> Never mind, he mutters as he vanished in the blue. It's no fun fighting dinner if your dinner's fighting you. <laughs> Well, the beavers washed their pearly whites and the shark, he vanished out of sight. And the beavers two and the beavers three, 47 beavers on the big blue sea. That's good, they said, but we're still stuck. We'll die here on a reef. Not so fast, the young one said. God gave us more than teeth. With that, he jumped back to the stern and dangled down his tail and started slapping water like a little beaver whale. Soon the others join him and help with all that beaver power. Their little boat was skimming waves at 40 miles an hour. <laughs> well, the beavers slap their big flat tails and the beavers waist like killer whales and the beavers two and the beavers three, 47 years on the big blue sea. Three more weeks went by and soon they all began to moat. We're getting tired of paddling. We're starting to lose hope. Then ahead they saw a sight that made them holler, Wowie! Forty-seven beavers had just discovered Maui. <laughs> <laughs> they hit the land and kissed the sand, a sign of their Thanksgiving. But soon began to mope again. How will they make a living? This island ain't for beavers, and we're not pedicures. I got it, cried the little guy. We'll entertain the tourists. So the beavers built a beaver lodge, and the tourists came for food and fudge, and the beavers too, what do you know? Bring some of Beaver Science Dinner Show! <laughs> so why did I tell this story? What's the point for me and you? We might find ourselves someday, trapped by trappers too, or staring down our own big sharks, or facing nasty weather. But we've been blessed, and things go best when we all work together. <laughs> <laughs>